Hi Virgo, welcome to your What They Can't Get Over reading for October 5th, 19th. <laughs> October 19th through November 18th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below as well as the Recommend a Reader shout out which goes to the Goddess Guidance. Let me say that again, the Goddess Guidance, there it is. Um, much love and support to her. Check her out. Show her some love and support if you like what she has to say. This is intended to be a romantic love reading, but it may resonate in other areas of your life. All right, Virgo. What can't they get over? What can't they get over? For Virgo. All right. The Magician. Okay, that could be Gemini, Virgo, or Aries for me. The Sun. Five of Wands. Knight of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. The Star. Seven of Wands. Wow. <laughs> Lots of Wands, huh? And Temperance. All right, so let me put these over here. There it is. This one, that's what I want. I want this one. Okay. Hmm. So we got Leo, 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 Gemini, Aries, or Virgo, Aquarius. Cancer, Scorpio, or Sagittarius. Interesting. All right. I think this person might feel like you didn't, um, you didn't do what was needed. Like you didn't, you weren't ready or you didn't, you weren't either, you weren't ready or, um, you weren't, you didn't do what it took to, to, go after what you want. I think that's what's at issue here is that someone's wanting you to figure out how to, um, it's like putting more effort in going after what you want that I, I think, um, they might've felt like you left too much up to them to figure out and resolve and to do and take initiative and all that. Just saying, I'm not saying that is true. Well, I mean, we'll get into it. I could be wrong here, but all right, what's this Knight of Wands about? This Knight of Wands about. Over this side there. What's this Knight of Wands about? Okay. Ten of Swords. Oh. this ace of pentacles here hmm. six of swords oh my gosh what's this star card about ten of pentacles to seven of wands seriously I feel like they feel like you, they weren't protected or that there was not enough value put into the relationship things weren't done that needed to be done to um, to just make them feel like they were a part of or that you it was you and them against the world that type of thing like this is someone that really needs to be somebody special somebody and hmm What's this seven of wands? Okay. What's this temperance card? All right, this is, whoopsie, hi. There's that, that flipped. This is kind of taken on, um, hmm. What's this temperance card about? Here's the thing, this is someone that wants to be provided for. So whether that's um, a gold digger, a food digger, 
you know, something as basic and as superficial as that, or if this is someone that really feels like, you know what, I don't know that you have what it takes to have me as a partner because I don't think you value the same things as I do. I don't think you want the same things. We got 10 of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles here. I'm gonna put this back because this jumped. So, I mean, this could be Capricorn, this could be Aquarius. Um, but this is someone who feels like you didn't do enough to keep them. And it, the, honestly, it's because part of that is their issue because they have issues with um, having enough and there being enough. This could be this could be on the spectrum anywhere from, or the continuum rather, anywhere from um, someone, you know, wanting to live that life and posting on social media and, you know, wanting to show that they bought the latest and the greatest and they're going to see this or that to someone that is that has some pretty big issues from the past that need to be resolved about scarcity thinking, about growing up a certain way that they don't ever want to revisit. So they're, they're just, they have, it's almost like, a black hole that needs to be filled and it isn't because that's a them issue to be resolved not a you issue to resolve for them but i think they project there's a possibility that they project this lack and this scarcity thinking into relationships to where it looks like their partner's just not doing enough for them and that looks like it's represented here that this is someone that's always in search of or wants to you know i'm moving on to more secure stable um waters here and but this is someone that it's almost like no matter what is given, it's not enough. They don't trust and they're afraid. Bottom line is they don't trust and they're afraid. And they're looking to be, um, they're looking to be provided for and assured and for someone to take care of them and for them to be able to nest. You know how, on a, you know how certain animals, um, before they, uh, give birth or when they're getting ready to mate to that that whole cycle and season for them They kind of fidget around their nest They kind of just keep machinating and keep um, working their nest and keep kind of building and restructuring and this, and this is that person because they're really wanting to um, Finally land somewhere secure it's a, it's a huge issue for them. This is someone that really wants someone that is ready to take care of them and ready to just kind of insert them they they'll do whatever needs to be done but they want the protection and the security and they want to know that that's going to be um that they've just started like we got the ace of pentacles and the sun here this is someone that wants to know that the past is behind them and brighter days are ahead and they've got nothing to worry about this is someone that really wants the security above all else and the thing is it's one thing to want a partner that um, works with you and you know come what may as long as we have each other you and I are stronger together than we are apart and we'll figure it out this is someone that wants to step into a secure situation they it, they uh, it's a very strong need for them but they project that onto their partners like you're not working hard enough for me or you're not contributing enough um, and that's kind of unfair because they still have this issue without the partner without you so it's almost like you you were in the crosshairs and now you're free, but this is a them issue to deal with. It's not that you weren't enough. It's that nothing's, nothing's going to be enough for them until they resolve that scarcity thinking and that lack and that fear of, you know, it's like they're trying to outrun some negative um, trauma and you can't. You'll never be able to fill that hole unless you deal with it. You excavate yourself, you know what I mean? It's not about filling it, it's about excavating it. And they need to do that. Because this was not your issue to solve for them. What's this sun card about? And I'm not saying, I'm not, I wasn't rambling. That's showing here. It's it, This person is really hell-bent on landing in a secure position with somebody. And it's, it's, they want, it's almost like they want constant reassurance. And they need to see evidence that it's okay, right? It's okay. We're okay. We're always going to be okay, right? We're, we're okay. Which can be exhausting, let's be honest. Knight of Cups. Five of Wands. This is Five of Wands. Page of Swords. Yeah. So, okay, Scorpio. So, the... This is someone that, 
the offer that would offer security first and foremost and they it was it was never the thing is is it it's almost like like I said well it is like they like I said they they're projecting like well you didn't do enough you did they their black hole just swallows everything as it comes in and that's not I'm not ridiculing them and I'm not you know putting them down or anything like that but this is something that no partner will ever be able to resolve for them it's not about exhausting your partner of their resources and, and seeking constant reassurance it's about them coming to you or anybody as a whole person not looking for you to fill the void or to make them whole this is somebody I, I believe the youngsters would call basic on its superficial face this is somebody who's just basic but if we're talking about um, going below the surface this is someone that has um, issues of emptiness and lack that they need to resolve themselves honestly so what they can't get over is not being provided for not being made to feel secure enough but that should have never been your issue to resolve for them okay all right and I know, I, I mean, I'm sorry, we got the Ten of Swords here and the Six of Swords. I'm sorry because I know that's painful. So if you, you both are going through it, I, I my heart goes out to you because that, that's, you know, ow. <laughs> All right. The thing is, though, you might be surprised know that this person might be coming back around they might be sitting here um upset with you that you didn't do enough that you didn't make them feel this way that you didn't provide enough or that you didn't attend enough or that you didn't but perhaps consider just consider and i'm not saying this as advice or projecting or anything this is showing up in the reading so this is still about the reading consider that they might show up that, that this might be them kind of waiting you out and when you don't, when you kind of, here's temperance here, right? So if you're not coming rushing in, consider that they might, that they can't stand the weight anymore. They, they figured that maybe that this is, I mean, we've got the five of wands here. So this, it, maybe it was a gamble. Maybe it was like, you know what? If I end things or if I put it out there that they're not giving enough and then I just stay silent and I, I back off, let's see what they do. And what's showing here is that you're not biting. Because off they go, blaming you. And then you're like, well, okay, then They're, you're not chasing them, even though they, I think they want you to, if we're honest. I think they want you to, to apologize or pursue or take the hint or the cue and be like, okay, well, I'm going to really show you that I do value you and this and that. I think they want to be chased and pursued. And um, there's a subtle undercurrent of them wanting to be in control. And so you don't. And don't be surprised quite honestly if they show back up and want to renegotiate because you didn't take the bait just saying virgo just saying it that it's showing up here that there's an undercurrent of them kind of still looking over their shoulder and then if you don't follow them they're going to run back and be like hey why didn't you they could be that this very well could have happened before and they're kind of expecting you to do what they always did but this time is different this time is different for Virgo. Virgo six of cups the major connection um, someone perhaps dealing with issues from childhood or maybe they needed to go away because they had to deal with those issues maybe they're aware that that's what they're doing and they're actually dealing with them it's not showing up here well What's showing up here is that the issues that they keep projecting or bringing into the relationship that they expect someone else to resolve. So maybe they're aware of it and maybe that's why they left to go resolve a few things. We got the star card here. Maybe they're looking for that resolution and finding a way to heal um, these, this issue of it never not having enough or never having enough. But it could also be that this is someone um, of longevity for you. A soulmate. The, both of you are feeling the disconnect though. Um, I know it's not easy, but I feel like they're, I feel like this is temporary because I feel like when you don't go chase after them, they're going to come back. 
and it's going to be a renegotiation. That, I got to be honest, <laughs> would not suit because here they are blaming you and trying to, if I may, make you feel guilty or kind of there's some shame involved here. That you're not doing enough and you just, you weren't, you know, and then when you don't take the bait, when you don't get out there in front of it and try and rescue and, oh, okay, well, I'll, I'll do this better or I'll show you. You're probably tired, let's be honest. Um, here they come again. Like, well, why haven't you chased after me? It, it worked before. Okay. What else for Virgo? Because this is kind of a... The, before, what's been showing typically is that the person is what they can't get over. And, and here's the reasons why. They're, they're in love or this or that. Or, you know, I didn't want it to end this way. I have to go away for business. All things like that. This is someone that just needs to get over, needs to resolve some past issues that have... The way they've been dealing with it, though, is finding people that will do and provide for them and that they can kind of control and manipulate. And I think it started out that way with you, but it's not that way anymore. And they're like, hey, wait a second. Wait a second. I did the thing. Now you're supposed to do this. And you're not doing that. And here they come. They don't like that this time you're not biting. We got Six of Swords and the Temperance. I mean, they don't like that you're not um, doing what you always did. That you're not overcompensating for a perceived lack that you don't have to begin with. Feeling a little protective of you, if I may, because I don't I don't like the manipulation. Alright, what else for Virgo? Regret. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope that doesn't mean for you it this would apply to your person that they're probably like, Ooh, shoot. Maybe I was a little heavy handed with my, you know, demands or, um, my guilt or my, maybe I was, I freaked out a little bit. Maybe I need to rein it in. Maybe I owe this person a, an apology. I feel like it's regret in being so heavy handed, um, because they, that I think this might've been a turning point for you in that, um, they, This time is different. Something about the way things was, were handled, the breakup was handled or the leaving was handled is different. And you're not coming after them. And now they're like, uh-oh, I probably just played my last, you know, cats of nine lives, whatever. I just probably played my last life card with this person. Like I just, I, I pushed them too far. It's too much now. Uh-oh, they're on to me or, oh no, I think I might have, this might be it. I think I part of me feels like this really was a gamble to see how you'd react because there's we've got um, someone leaving or having left and I don't think things are working out. Um, we've got strength and page of wands here. Uh huh. Here's that message coming in and here you are um, not wanting this person to have the same effect on you and being like, no, I'm not going to go rushing in this time. I'm going to see how this plays out. I'm going to stay in my center of power. I'm going to be strong here and I'm not going to go chasing after them. And here's that reaching out. Just saying. Um, but it, it feels like this was a gamble and they might have overplayed their hand or just that this time is different. That you're not doing what you've always done before. And they're having to re-strategize. And part of that is reaching back out and wanting to renegotiate or maybe backtracking, backpedaling. Very interesting. So uh, the regret would be that... Well, I hope you don't have anything to regret. And if you do, stop it. Because this was not yours to fix. What else for? Oh, I did that one already. Okay, well, what the heck am I doing this for? Okay, so it's these then. What else for Virgo? is it's like this this could be somebody that really does like to get their way and if you don't do what they I I feel like this person again they took a gamble and they tried to kind of work it to their advantage and manipulate the situation and this time you're not playing and they're gonna take they're gonna re-strategize and take a different tact 
I really feel like this is them wanting to get their way and wanting what they want and being wanting to, okay, well, if that didn't work, then I'm going to go back in and I'm going to do that. Like they, because you're their best prospect right now. They don't have any other prospects. Um, I don't say that to be mean. I just, I think that they're, they got out there, they started doing it and then they got scared and now they're coming running back and they don't know what to do. And you, um, are the only thing they have right now that, that, that is a prospect that they could renegotiate. God forbid they have to start from scratch with somebody new. They have to um, kind of be on their best behavior, right? So the reason why they come back is not because they have regret based on, I acted horribly, I'm very sorry. It's not that. It's because, crap, I overplayed my hand. I was too heavy handed. Now they're pissed off. What am I going to do now? Okay. All right. So... Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is done. This is done, done. This is somebody that's mad and it's just too much work. And that's for you. It's not for them. This is you, uh, you're done. And so this is you definitely doing it differently this time. And they're like, wait, what? Why aren't you chasing me? You did before because you're done. It's too much work, too much work. That's it was it got to be a burden and you've been here time and time again with this person and you're like You know what? I know what you're doing now. I see what you're doing. I'm not gonna play anymore. I'm done too much work I'm gonna set this burden down now And they want they want the romance and the um, The assure me assure me back and you're like no 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 that's not the message I'm gonna be sending you Because you tried to manage and manipulate me it was never about me. It was about you and your need. See, there's me coming out getting, Arr. I don't like that. I don't like that manipulation. There's no reason for that. I mean, well, there is for them because of the need. I, I, I get it. I just don't like seeing someone caught in the crosshairs. Because the, the other side of this is that you did try. You did originally and initially listen to them and think, oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'll... Uh, and it was never enough. And for the longest time, it's like you believed them. You know, and again, I'm not saying, I'm, this is not projecting, I'm saying the reason why there's a 10 and there's a nine and there's a 10, and the, because enough's enough. You've been here, the, yeah, you get the pipe. You get the idea, shutting up, shutting up. All right, 22 minutes, oh good Lord, 23 minutes. All right, Virgo, uh, thank you very much for stopping by. You stay strong. Didn't the strength card come out and then it came, it went somewhere, the strength card, and then I had to put it back, right? Um, just please stay strong and know that this is not you or yours to fix. This is someone that needs to come to grips with things that they've been dealing with and they need to heal their past. Um, they need to get in touch with why they feel this sense of lack and this bottomless pit need for assurances and material things and constant evidence of everything's going to be okay that's going to outrun any partner, any relationship they have. Eventually, they, it's going to run everything, and every time it will run it into the ground. Okay, I hope this was helpful, and I hope to see you in your next reading. Uh, just so we're clear, what they can't get over is their past and their issues of lack and trauma with that and not having enough. Okay. Hope to see you in the next reading. You take care.